one of the biggest things I've seen um, with spiritual people, like spiritual, spiritual business owners, is they feel guilty taking money because they feel like mm. it's not spiritual that they God give them a gift or the universe give them a gift and they should be giving that gift and helping everybody and not charging any money, you know, because it's like that's of the world and, you know, it's not, you know, there's this sort of like conflict between the material world and the spiritual world. And the ego loves that. It's like, yeah, we, we don't, stay away from money. It's not good. And it's, again, like pushing away what is making money distasteful mm. or success distasteful, um, that you should be just like walking the earth and helping people for free, you know, with bare feet. And yeah. like uh, Mother Teresa, she really gave up everything to to do her work, which I'm not saying that's not a bad thing, but every, if everyone did it, um, you know, it would, I don't know who would make money and pay the bills. <laughs> you know? Well, the, yeah, the, the spiritual reality is that uh, money is neutral, mm. like everything in the world. It's neutral. It's us who give it this value of, you know, we can use it to build bombs or we can use it to build hospitals. Mm. It, it's our mind. Uh, and it's something we created. It's not like a, a given evil out in the world. So when it's interpreted in, those, in that respect as if it, it is a power unto itself, that's idolatry already. Mm. That's kind You're of giving money power over God. Yes, projecting the power out into these uh, external forms, and uh, that yeah. The, but again, it's something that we have to trip on continuously, so that we cultivate our spirituality. Every every mistake that we make, every time we go down the the dead end. We're learning to purify our awareness. Mm -hmm. Our consciousness becomes more itself. And it's not that everyone should just, just not care and char charge extraordinarily expensive things because, oh, money doesn't matter, so I'm just going to do that and I shouldn't have any guilt. We want to regulate and say, is this fair? I mean, there's something about, we, you know, ego wants fairness, and I think there's some elements of the ego that keeps us from doing very destructive things. So we want to make sure that we're in, in balance and, um, and not just saying, I, I can't give you a price. Tell me what you should charge. I see a lot of uh, spiritual coaches say, just tell me what you can charge and let's do a sliding scale. And it's like needing, you know, wanting to help everyone. And I love that. Uh, kindness and generosity, but it, it doesn't help you mm. because you're not be able to pay your bills and you're not able to do the things you want to do. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe your soul wants to experience more of something in life. But if you're not allowing yourself to receive mm -hmm. uh, and experience, like the resources that money can give you can make give you a chance to you know go to another workshop for yourself or hire a coach or uh, take a trip to to Bali or, or to Tibet and, you know, enrich your spiritual growth and, uh, or, or reach more people by buying advertising. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. So, um, it's about being resourceful and, uh, and that we're always going to feel a little guilty because we're just mm. kind giving people the, especially people in uh, that are coaches and any kind of service person, we do it because we want to serve. So there's that conflict that I love this already. Why should I charge? Like, it's like a weird thing. Like, but a, a, a car, car should, do they have a sliding scale for Volvos and Mercedes? No, it's like, you got to like uh, pay. <laughs> well, you got a lot to say about this. So we're, we're going to have to do a different <laughs> podcast. How spiritual people can make money. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I went through all of this. Like yeah. I went through all of this of, of that conflict because all my friends were doing pro bono work or, or taking like, again, the charging dirt cheap, you know, and then they couldn't pay their bills. They were struggling. And it's like, you know, it, like, how is this helping? How is this yeah. representing the divine? If you're like in lack and you can't, you don't have the resources to take care of your family and all those things. And uh, eventually you'll get, be exhausted. Or you take another job and work in a day job and do your spiritual work on the weekends. Imagine if you can make it your full-time job, you know? So there's a lot there. But this, but the bypassing <laughs> itself will say, you can't take, the ego doesn't want you to be successful. It wants you to stay where you are. So it's gonna use your spiritual um, knowledge and your spiritual words to say, oh, that's not a good thing. 